Hello and welcome back. This is going to be episode three of Blair Witch Season 1. I am Strange Tangent, joined by the amazing Red Panda. So we are going to be getting kicked off with that. If you have not seen episode one or episode two, don't worry. Uh, up in that corner will be a quick little link that will take you to the playlist. And you can be able to go there to catch up if you are watching this later. Uh, if you're joining us live, thank you so much for being here. We always really appreciate the help with everything. Uh, please feel free to hop up into the Discord uh, and you will be able to see the evidence that we place into the Discord, and you can follow along with us there while we are doing this live. If you're watching on YouTube, still uh, down in the description down below, there's a link to the Discord. Join in. You can find all the evidence there as well. Uh, so let's get. Uh, you want to do? Let's do a quick recap over episodes one and two. So again, if you haven't, if you don't want any spoilers, then this is your warning for that. <laughs> uh, so let's grab our recap. Hope everyone's doing well, by the way, as well today. All right, so we have for our uh recap here of the la of, from last episode and kind of bringing us back up to speed on everything uh we discovered that the missing teenager liam kent uh we were that he was exchanging coded messages with a mysterious man named carver uh, i think that was short for the carver is what the the lore was saying uh back in the day uh, who appears to have been planning to lure liam into the woods under some pretenses of helping him find um and harness some type of supernatural uh capabilities of the woods and reconnect with his deceased father uh it's not the first time carver has terrorized the town he apparently was also responsible for the tragic disappearance of a young boy in the 90s uh so using this information uh rosemary was able to reinvigorate the search effort for liam uh, recently the forest bound search parties have found a number of relevant clues several of liam's own notes as well as threatening note, a threatening note from Carver himself. We saw a lot of that in the last episode. Uh, and then we've also been able to, from the text of his note, uh, that his Carver's plans are going to involve more than just Liam, uh, although we're not sure what Carver plans to do next. So uh, I think uh, maybe this episode, we'll hopefully they'll find that out, right? So we'll find out what we've got uh for this episode so let's get into it uh that's a little bit to catch us all up uh and all right welcome to episode three of blair wish let's get let's get started all right ready to see what's in the box always okay let's find out what's in the box what's in the box okay Yo, DP, thank you so much for that. <laughs> Appreciate it. And Katie, welcome in as well. Hello to Twitch, to Kick, to Twitter. Hope you everyone is having a fantastic day. And hello to YouTube if you're watching this later. Okay, got everything? I think so. Okay. All right, got another letter from mom. Okay. Um, Burkittsville Sheriff stuff. So it's kind of cool they're at least getting her over the paperwork if they're not going to do the job. Right. Let mama, mama bear knows best. Yeah. Um, the sheriff's been horrible. Yeah. It's funny He's though because dismissing everything. It, it's funny though because it really goes like even in real life. Like if people like assume or make an assumption, like mm -hmm. a, a runaway, like. No one investigates, and then yeah. the cases go cold. So absolutely, it's it's definitely very uh, very lifelike. Um, looks like we have another incident report with Anthony. He okay. had two last episode as well. Ooh, of witches and other warnings, histories of local monsters and mysteries, edited by Anthony. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Not you. Yes. The yeah. other Anthony. The uh, the, the one the in charge museum, of the history museum. The yes. museum, Anthony. Yes. Yes. All I right. think it's so funny because. He, he he lives all things history reenactment mm -hmm. yeah Ooh, okay it's boulder i'm sorry this still is a pretty cool mascot just saying just saying yeah all right yeah compared to some all right so we've got another mystery letter this is 
the same paper that last episode, I believe, was written by um, his dad. And so somehow Carver has his hand on all these old documents from when his dad was alive. Um, and I think they were even written before uh, he was born, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah, I think... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, some Liam, of them were, yeah. yeah Liam uh, was born after some of these were written, is what it was, because he was talking about right. how he couldn't come to the woods as much, he's got to be a dad now, stuff like that right. would be safer. Um, so somehow yeah, Carver so it's, has it's his the hand time in all these kind of, letters. Yeah, so that's the whole premise, right? The, the time works differently yeah. in the woods. So, yes. okay. Yes, and then we have... A disciplinary note, so it's probably the second one. He also had some other disciplinary thing from the last uh, earlier episodes. Um, and then we have some scratches, two sided scratches, which is interesting. Okay. And then we have a very, very sinister drawing, if I could describe it in some way. Um, looks like a hand reaching out from underneath the tree, which reminds me so much of something I read in the last season or in last last episode the dad was describing how he kept feeling like he was being crushed or buried by the tree oh even right before he died yeah by the tree falling on him okay so that's so i think that is uh that lo it looks like it's labeled as liam's drawing yeah so that's very so, curious. They, maybe that's liam's liam. way of processing what happened to his dad where the tree fell on him because maybe liam was gonna get crushed i don't know that one's got that him. hollow in it though that's true. i don't know that's true it's got that hollow. Know. liam's dad saved him from being crushed by the tree so I'm sure that's got to be hard yeah so, so that's we'll all i got out. and then okay. we got a wooden thingy with very interesting markings very similar to the markings on liam's drawing mm -hmm. so. i think that that looks like the i don't know like all the boxes reminds me of the uh that box cipher thing i don't know what it was called but oh the pigpen cipher from last yeah, that episode thing. yeah that thing I don't know why, but I mean the boxes. Yeah. That's what it was. Was there were boxes, right, for pigpen? So it was, yeah, it was boxes, but it was like two different boxes. But it was depending on where the dots and the boxes were open at would depend on which letter it was. Oh, like okay. some of it was X's and just dots, and yeah. some of it was angles and arrows. So this isn't okay. quite striking me hundred percent that way, but it might be that direction. Do you have the um, booklet from his original thing? Uh, booklet from his. What do you mean? The okay. one that had the pigpen cipher on the inside cover of yeah yeah book um i don't know if i have the physical book i think i left that on the table out there because i'm cool like that but i definitely have the copy oh there it is yes okay that's why it was because it looked it was tic-tac-toe yeah so i so it just made me think of this is what i was looking at if it was it like a full like fold and square it'd yeah. be e but if it was like an angle it'd be an a but if it had like a dot in it it'd be a y x or z uh, so like okay. it had an angle either way yeah that makes sense so like it, it was very interesting cipher it was funny though because i saw it in a different hunt the killer thing they had a form a while back with like the top like 10 most popular ciphers in it and that was okay. like one of them just kind of helping people get get the gateway with ciphers because they're very addicting <laughs> they are <laughs> you all right easy ones and you get deeper um, so we had the so letter from rosemary we have liam's thing, drawing yeah. i'm just trying to see if the this matches up because it kind of looks like it does so that's yeah, the long yeah. side here yeah okay like so no there's a chunk missing so here you're seeing the intersection of this part versus here you're not like the yeah. intersection's missing so huh. well, well maybe, maybe we have to line it up yeah. a little bit or something i'm not sure yeah or use this to kind of fill in some of that and sketch it out we'll yeah see. so i just it almost reminds me of like the blair witch symbol because like you have I that think, line and you have is. like the zigzag um, across it. it just it's screaming yeah, blair I think witch this symbol goes this bit. way because yeah this would be the blair witch symbol thing yeah i think this does link up if you do this way yeah then oh, it, really? yeah, because this little short piece here would go right there. This piece would go oh, right there. This you mean long where piece you're filling right here. Okay. Uh, yeah. This would go here. And then also this lines up with that. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Uh, all right. We might be able to use the, um, this thing. Uh, not with this, I but I have not open it copies. up yet. What yeah, is yeah, this? If you want to look at that. So. Is it ink? No, it's just, uh, it's labeled as a crayon. Oh. So it just doesn't have any paper on it. So I, when I so scanned everything messy. in for, gotcha. for evidence, it was just getting, it was really messy. It was bouncing around in the box on its own. Oh. So I just, uh, that's oh, why there's yeah, markings on that. I see. Because this was also loose. So okay. I didn't want to accidentally get anything on the front of it or anything like yeah, that. So I just yeah. wrapped it up. Dang, so that's it, like it doesn't good actually good. show up from our contact in tissue, but I went ahead and did that just to help. It's just sure. like a black square of what feels like a wax crayon. Like yeah, it's, yeah, it's just a crayon. It looks like it's what it's labeled as. So yeah. we have crayon carving. There's a school folder, there's a folklore booklet, a security report, a Carver's message, search right. party report, school disciplinary note, 
Liam's note, Liam's drawing, and a letter from Rosemary. So that's right. Okay, perfect. Well, then let's get over and uh, I just put in all the, in the Discord all the physical evidence from the box that we've scanned and been able to upload. So that's all into the Discord now for you. And uh, we'll get into reading Rosemary's letter. I think. I think so. Okay. Just double checking anything. <laughs> right. Nope. Rosemary's letter. Let's see what mom has to say here. Detective, the tide is turning. The search parties have resumed. Actually, you know what? You might turn the volume down just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's it's fine. good, but it's a little, little high, I think, for this. That way, I'm not feeling like I'm trying to talk over it. Yeah, thank you. That way, I'm just not feeling like I'm screaming over it. Uh, um, no the tide is turning. The search parties have resumed, and I know I have told you. Thank, I told you, thank you to the. The search parties have resumed, and I know I have you to thank. When Sheriff Lanning decided to end them a few weeks back, I told him he was wrong and to stop looking. And now he's finally admitted that he made the wrong call. If we'd been searching for all of this time, I'm sure that we would have already found Liam by now. But I'm not going to allow myself to get wrapped up in thinking about all that wasted time when there's much work to do. Despite the setbacks and challenges, we're still making good progress. Great progress, actually. We found some more of Liam's things. I swear we'd searched by the old creek a dozen times already, but when I heard of when I heard one of the volunteers shout, I went running over there and there they were. I recognized his handwriting immediately. He was mm. there at some point. Looks like he was trying to hide some trouble trying to hide some trouble he got into at school. That poor boy was going through so much and I never even knew about half of it. There were other things we found sitting right alongside those papers of his that made no sense at all. Anthony recognized a book that went missing from the museum less than a week ago. How could that have possibly been with the rest of Liam's belongings? Um, there was another thing that we found out there, too. Something I wish we hadn't. A message from Carver. It was addressed to me. In that note, he mentions taking something else, as if he hasn't already taken enough. Mm -hmm. There's no denying it's been taxing, and not just for me, either. For a lot of the folks here in Burkittsville. This isn't their first search party, not by a long shot. Most people refuse to set the foot into the forest, and the ones who are willing to head inside usually end up turning their own paranoia into a self-fulfilling prophecy. Take a look at the search party reports, and you'll see what I mean. People let their eyes play tricks on them out there. The blame for that doesn't rest entirely on them. The geography of this place is admittedly confusing. HUD always used to say the forest had a mind of its own. And I'm only now starting to really understand what he meant. It'd be foolish to expect the woods to stay the same over time. But you'd, you'd think that by now we'd have at least a few sections committed to memory. No, somehow it always feels like you're walking into the unknown. Hank has been a huge help, though. Even when we think we've reached a dead end, that dog is urging us forward towards my son and the man who took him from me. What Carver wrote to me makes my blood boil every time I so much as think about it. The arrogant son of a gun thinks that he can tear my life away from me and rub it in my face. But maybe this is him becoming overly confident. From what I understand, criminals tend to do that just before they get caught. Maybe if we find out exactly what he's planning on doing next, we can set some, more, some sort of trap for him. Or at least prevent it is, whatever it is he's going to try to do. If you're able to find out what Carver wants, let me know. Um, send me um, the answer at the tip line. He's still okay. out there. I can feel it. Awesome. All right. So we need to figure out what he, uh, what it is that he wants, and then let Rosemary know. Hey, Emmy Cakes, welcome. See, I in. thought he was being more mysterious last time. Like he didn't seem aggressive per se to me last right. time. Right. Like this. This I mean, is interesting he, that he's actually like leaving he did for put the long the, haunter. Right. I mean, he did you know say that he wasn't done. Right. So do we think that's him though? I think Someone so. scratched. I'm not finished, but. We never knew for sure it was him or not. Yeah, I have a feeling it's him. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, the, uh, and then go from there. All right, let's see what we have up next. Uh, so, this is Liam's drawing that we were looking at a little bit ago. Uh, here, do we want to do this? Uh, when you use my copy, you can. Are we doing that now? Because we don't really know what we're doing yet. Well, I mean,. I was thinking maybe this. I don't know how to see through it to be able to um, Here. line it up, but 
I don't know if this would shine through it. I've got the uh, white. I've got the white version. I've got like a white, a blue. Yeah. Do we have a um blank sheet of paper? I didn't grab any blank paper. No. I'm wondering if we do just a blank paper and then hold it up. I you can see through it then and then trace it. I'll let me grab one off the printer. Okay. Yep. Uh right, while you're doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead and do something simple do like want? this. Let's okay, that one. Like this. Uh, disciplinary good? action. Let me yeah. find it. Sorry. No, you're good. There you go. I just don't so know this if we is a have disciplinary to do action. Yet. Uh notice South uh, Woodland Academy. So, so this was in go. Liam's folder. So the teacher, Megan Prince, uh, student's name, Liam Kent, um, reasons for discipline, violence. Liam was caught attacking another school student on school grounds about an hour after classes had ended for the day. Liam was straddling the other boy and clawing at his face. Liam's brother, who Liam was about to walk home from school, was present for the entire altercation and was begging his older brother to stop. Liam kept shouting, shut up, skunk. Fight was broken up by a faculty member. No reason for altercation was given by either of the boys. Um, conference held with the student, and he was placed on probation. Um, and the teacher signed it. So it doesn't okay. know, it necessarily look like the mom was called. So that would make sense, because he was trying to hide this. So basically, he went crazy again and was um, picking on a kid, scratch, pinned him down and scratched him at school. And he did it in front of the brother, which is probably the worst part. <laughs> So, okay. Do you want me to keep going for now? Uh, a lot harder to make this happen than I thought it would be. There's not, it's not raised up real, or it's not like etched in real deep. Yeah, that's a good idea though. I wouldn't have thought to do that. So. I just thought we were supposed to yeah. do grid lines because there's grid lines there. I'm assuming for a reason right. To help and in my head, like, I was then thinking of like this, yeah. but it, I don't know if it's gonna work. What I mean, I, I mean, it definitely lines up though. Like what we were thinking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it definitely lines up. Okay. So, do you want to hand draw that out then, real quick, or what's the game plan? I don't know. I don't know what we need it for yet. So let's wait. Kind of my thing. Um, I just want to see if that would work, but okay. it. Unfortunately, it didn't work as well as I would have hoped, Chet. Um, but it could be that I just need to get like a... I mean, you get like a pencil. And then I can do it a little bit lighter. Like your on, graphite. On the, that? No, 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 no. Like grab another paper. Grab the paper again oh. and do it lighter. Because um, I think this is just pushing down hard enough okay. that it... Um, I honestly just... I don't know. I just assumed that because there's like very clear grid lines that that was what we were supposed to use to help figure it out and sketch it out. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I, I think know. that's what the crane was for, though, was to be able to like to try to do, do like this. A, a rubbing. Yeah. Like a tombstone rubbing. Yeah. So okay. Right. That's fine. Am I doing the threatening note? Uh, do we want to do that? Threatening note needs to be cracked. So. Which one's that one? Uh, uh, Carver's uh, note. Rosemary. This one. Yeah, this was also in the folder. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Let's take a look at what uh, Carver wrote to Rosemary. Uh, so we've got, uh, I know you've been, or this is Rosemary, I know you've been dying to find me. I can feel you begging in your sleep. I watch you cry like a pathetic child when you think there's nobody around. Keep trying to find me. It's delicious to watch you stumble around the woods. Aww. You don't know it yet. But you're going to die, oh so terribly, terribly alone. I will take what she asks for, and you cannot stop me. Uh, we are not finished yet, Carver. We are not finished yet, so not him. Yeah. Me. Interesting, okay. Well, I'm guessing... He means he's, the witch. He's, yeah, I'm guessing he's, like, meaning the witch. Because he said that she's controlling him. Right, right, yeah. That, uh, yeah. yeah, I will take what she asks for, I'm guessing, is that he's talking about the Blair Witch. Yeah, apparently so, I don't have a pen. Do you have an extra pen? The one that's uh, been this set isn't working. Sorry. There you go. Thank you. Boom. All right. If you want, I'm going to start grinding on this while we keep going through stuff. Are you okay? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Do you want me to go through the sheriff's office stuff? This is the, uh, this is yeah. like four pages, so that should give you plenty of that, time for that. That's fine, the... yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Perfect. Uh, so Burkittsville Sheriff's Office. This is the, I believe, the uh, search party report. Is what I believe this would be. Okay. Let me get this paper so I can actually read it a little bit easier. Yeah, well, not that page. There we go. Okay. So we've got uh, Deputy Dwight Weathers. Uh, expedition was scheduled to begin at exactly 0900 hours on Sunday, beginning near the History Museum where Liam Kent's possessions were discovered and branching out into the Black Hills Forest, which borders the back, of the, uh, back end of the building. In total, 32 civilian volunteers arrived before we split off into groups. I led a group of 11 individuals into the Black Hills Forest. My group headed due north and stuck to that direction for the entirety of the day. I ordered the volunteers to arrange themselves in a single row, leaving six-foot gaps between each individual for optimal coverage of the forest floor. And I urged each person to proceed with a clear head and their full attention. Less than 20 minutes into the search, several volunteers began to ask questions about the Blair Witch. In accordance with Sheriff Lanning's orders, I forbade discussion of such inc incendiary topics. <laughs> uh, we covered ground efficiently, discovering nothing but naturally occurring debris. At one point, one civilian insisted there was smoke visible in the distance, although I saw nothing of the sort when they attempted to point the smoke out to me. Throughout this process, several volunteers sustained minor injuries, including one twisted ankle and several small scratches from nearby thorn bushes. By 10.30, several of my assignees requested to return to town, citing fatigue, though I believe they were afraid to continue much deeper into the forest. <laughs> At this point, we had reached a dense area where not much sunlight penetrated the canopy of trees above us, and the temperature dropped by at least 10 degrees to an uncomfortable chill. My efforts to dissuade the volunteers from leaving proved fruitless, and five members of my team ventured back, intending to use the markers we had been leaving throughout the forest as guides. The remaining seven of us soldiered on. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. There we go. I allowed my volunteers to break for lunch in a small hollow at 1,200 hours. At this point, I could sense morale was especially low, and while I blame the general lack of wilderness preparation, two of my volunteers wore dress shoes. <laughs> I nevertheless did my level best to offer comfort. It was during this break at around 12.15 that my group heard the sound of a woman screaming. It was difficult to determine the precise direction from which the scream had come as the sound echoed through the clearing and seemed to emanate from all directions simultaneously. At the time, I attempted to radio my fellow officers to better triangulate the sound, but my device malfunctioned at that moment and would emit only a crackling static. I directed my six volunteers to remain in the hollow while I attempted to track down the source of the scream, leaving markers to trace the path I took through the forest. Throughout this time, my radio continued to malfunction. After nearly 30 minutes of searching, I came to the conclusion that the best course of action would be to regroup and to pursue the noise only once I had adequate technology and backup. When I attempted to return, I failed to locate any of the trail markers that I had left behind me. I was later debriefed that a member of Officer Howard's volunteer team sustained a severe compound fracture, amongst other injuries. I assumed that this noise must have carried to the clearing. All right. It took me almost three hours to find my way back to the hollow and my six volunteers who were in the middle of a screaming fight with one another yeah. about how best to proceed. Had I abandoned them or if some terrible fate had befallen me, I de-escalated the situation and directed us to head back south to our original meeting point. The trail markers we had used to mark our northern journey appeared to be untouched. However, minutes into our trek south at precisely 1558, we began to discover symbols carved into the trunks of the trees we had marked. 
While most of the symbols were inscrutable to me, some appeared to be humanoid in shape. I would have taken photographs of them, but I realized I did not have my camera with me, and that I must have left and that I must have left it at the hollow. At this point, I lost control of my team. I attempted to regain control of the situation and instill an air of calm, but this effort was defeated by one volunteer who began frantically claiming she saw someone watching us through the trees. Neither I nor the other five volunteers saw what she had seen, but nevertheless, we proceeded south on high alert. My party exited the woods just before nightfall at 1722. Okay, so that was from Deputy Dwight Weathers. The next report, uh, Draken, you're welcome in. All right, the next report is from Officer Michelle Howard. Okay, and I completely forgot to scroll down while I was reading this, so there you go. You're following along in the Discord, you can open that up. All right, here we go. Here's the next one, Officer Michelle Howard. All right, I connected with my 11 volunteers at 0900 on the dot and established our manner of approach. Should anyone come across any personal effect or sign of human activity in the forest, they were to immediately notify me. Several members of my group expressed concern with venturing into the Black Hills Forest, and I did my best to calm their nerves despite being slightly on edge myself. Deputy Weathers was already on site and did little to ease the tension. I confirmed that each person was equipped with adequate supplies, whistles to get my attention, bottles of water, visibility vests, flashlights, evidence bags, and flags to mark any places of discovery or interest. We established the back of the History Museum as our starting point and headed east from there. Our group progressed for about an hour, eventually coming to the creek, that had already been the subject of several prior searches for Liam Kent. It was when we attempted to pass over this creek at approximately 10.05 that an injury occurred. One volunteer slipped down a steep embankment, falling into the creek itself. I was able to recover her, but it was immediately clear that she had become gravely injured. Several inches of the bone or inches of the bone of her right forearm was exposed and she was bleeding heavily from a long gash in her head. Okay, wait, hold on. So this happened at 10 a.m.? 10.05. Okay. Whereas Deputy Weathers said they heard the scream of a woman at 12.15, so two hours later. Uh -huh. Two hours later in the hollow, they heard the scream. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't think that's the... Unless that's through the whole, like, you know, the ho you know the, the woods having a different timeline type deal. Yeah. So, if that's the case, then that could be it. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cyborg with the resub. Yo, thank you so much. 37 months. That's crazy. Okay, let's see. We've got, uh, where was I at on here? I can definitely tell you there I have no idea what this code is. It's numbers. So yeah. I'm very confused. This is a code within a code. Oh, wow. All right, here we go. And we've got, uh, I dressed the volunteers' injuries as, this is again, back to Michelle Howard. So I, Dressed the volunteers' injuries as best I could with the medical supplies I had on hand and attempted to radio for medical backup, but my radio began to malfunction. Several of my volunteers attempted to call medical services from their phones, but none of them were able to get a signal the, uh, that far or get a signal that far into the forest. As I was reluctant to split up my group for fear of individuals becoming lost, I felt there was no option but to attempt to escort the volunteer back to our meeting point on foot, and contact medical services from the radio in my vehicle. The injured volunteer became groggy and unfocused at this point, mumbling nonsensical phrases under her breath. Myself and another volunteer carried her, doing our best to help her maintain consciousness. No. After walking back west for about a half hour, my group came across a small hollow, 
The injured volunteer expressed a desire to sit and rest for a time, and I obliged her. It was in this hollow that I discovered a camera, which I recognized as property of the sheriff's office. I realized that another group of volunteers must have left it behind accidentally. My group rested for about 20 minutes before pressing onward. This is so weird. So, like, that sounds like the same hollow that where Deputy Weathers left the camera. But this is timeline's not adding up whatsoever. Um, Cyberhorde, we're doing well. We're doing well. So, how to decipher the time? I don't know. It's very weird. It's like words, like four one, four two, seven yeah. five. Okay, so so it's very weird. I have no idea. I'm very very perplexed. I was looking through this book to see if there's a code within a code that I'm missing somehow. Right. Okay. Do I need to start like writing like a timeline down or like no no no, no like what are events? I'm, I'm, no, I'm I got it. Out? Okay, I'll figure it. Out. You're good. I'm sorry. It's not matching up at all, though. That's weird. No, I mean, no. I think that's the point, though. Because time is different in the forest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That oh, will help that. us with the um. You found some stuff in the, the book with this. Yeah. I'm wondering if it has to do with how we move up and down the word puzzle for this part, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Did it say who left this or where this was found at? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. About that. I think okay. that was, yeah, I'm wondering if this had to do with some of the carvings they found on trees. Gotcha. Okay. So, uh, so with that, we've got, uh, let's see. So, Deputy Weathers... They began at zero nine, along with Michelle Howard. So if we have Weathers on this side, Howard on this side. So they both started at zero nine. Uh, and then And they went straight north. Where the other group went east. Well, remember on the map we have, like, north was not, like, straight north. It was, like, a diagonal. Well, right, that way, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's what I'm looking at. So, but still, if the other group, if one group goes, like, just due north, and yeah. the other one goes due east, yeah. and then they both turn around and come straight back, how did they both find the same hollow? Is the hollow moving around within the forest? That's, that's I think the question. Yeah. So, I mean, they kept saying that the trees, like, they should know the forest by now, but they don't, and it kept seeming like the the area they walked back through didn't match mm -hmm. from before. Uh, Okay, so okay, so by ten thirty, so up here it talks about uh, right here chat. By ten thirty, several of my assignees request to return to town, uh, and then so. How many left? It was left with seven. Right, five of them left. Left seven. Yeah. Okay, so five return. And at least seven in the clearing? Yeah, well, I left seven then to continue on. So they continued on. Uh, they He allowed the volunteers to break for lunch in a small hollow at 1,200. So, 1,200, they found the hollow, and then at 1,215 was the scream. Okay, and then 
He went looking and he said. He said after nearly 30 minutes of searching. He came to the conclusion the best course of action would be to regroup. Uh, it took him almost three hours. So basically. Th to find his way back. So that should be about three and a half, right? Three and a half hours, including the initial search. So... We'll say 1245 tried returning. And then three hours later, so... Say 1545. Return to the hollow. Uh, and then, so that's the, okay, so that's going to be the weird, I think some of that is all going to be the weird part, but mm -hmm. uh, the trail markers had used to mark our northern journey appeared to be untouched. Okay. Uh, he de escalated situation, directed ahead back. Minutes into their trek south at precisely 1558. They found and started uh, finding symbols carved into the trees that they had marked. Wow. Okay, and then this is where he realized that he left the camera. Like that it was missing, or that he found it. No, no, no that he left it. That he that it was missing. That he must have left it in the uh, clearing in okay. the hollow. Because he went to take a picture of it and couldn't. And then he was like, oh, I must have left it back in the hollow. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, at this point, lost control of his team. Uh, they par The party exited the woods just before nightfall at 1722. Okay. So, the other group also started at 0900. Okay. Uh, so, that group... Now that we're, let's start, as I read through this, we'll, I'll write this all down so we can do it as we go. Uh, do I have a highlighter over here still? It might go faster that way. Thank you. Okay. So, 0900 on the dot, they started, uh... All right, so she did all the confirmation of stuff. Our group progressed for about an hour. So... Eventually come to the creek. Okay. So that would be... Yep, 10. And then uh, 10.05 is when the injury occurred. So, okay, and then let's see. The rest of the volunteers' injuries best could with the medical supplies. Had several of my volunteers simply call medical, nothing. Don't say how long all of that really took. Uh, but it does say that 
after walking back west for about a half hour. And then another 20 minutes before pressing onward, which would be 50. Hour and 10, so that was... Oh, crazy. Okay, so her watch. So it says, uh, after walking back west for about a half hour, my group came across a small hollow, right? So, okay, so we'll, we'll assume that it's around 1030-ish. Or 1035, uh, we'll say. Okay, so 1035, uh, found the hollow. So, it was noon when the other group found the hollow. And now it's 1035 when they found it, when the other, this group found it. Um, but the other group must have found it first because the camera was there. Okay. Okay. Uh, ten. Th that was ten thirty-five. Twenty minutes rest. So ten fifty-five, and then they spent twenty minutes of walking. Let should be eleven fifteen. Okay, so 11.15 in the morning, they're heading back, and it says that um, after another 20 minutes of walking back toward our meeting point, I realized the sun appeared to be near setting, even though it was not yet 1,200, according to my clock. Uh, the injured volunteer began to groan and talk about becoming condemned to the forest. Aww. I urged my group to push onward. Oh, because they wanted to get out before dark. R right, yeah. but it shouldn't have been dark because it wasn't even noon yet. Um, after another 10 minutes, so by 11, approximately 11, 25, 11, 30, based on how long it took them to dress the injury and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, at this point, it says that, uh, after another 10 minutes, we emerged from the forest back at our original meeting point at the history museum, running into deputy Weathers group. I was finally able to radio medical services. The display on my watch was 1724. So somehow... When they exited the woods, the other group exited at 1722, and he his timing, he had, I mean, everything flowed like normal. Mm -hmm. But somehow, for them, she kept looking at her watch, it had only been a few hours, but it had actually really been the whole day. So her watch was being affected, too. Yeah, but I'm guess I mean somehow slow down without her realizing. Well, yeah, because like if the watch is showing yeah. something different than the reality. It's so just, like, that's interesting uh, to see what'll what that means and what'll come of that. Uh, okay, so we've got another one, which is. Uh, Officer Gail Cooper. My 10 volunteers and I embarked uh, from our rendezvous point at 09. Heading due west. So this group left going west. How many groups were there total than three? Three, it looks okay. like. I thought there was one, two. Okay, so that's why we just got to the third one. Yeah, there's three groups. Okay. 
So it says zero nine hundred heading due west. So it started off same time. Okay, about forty five minutes into our search, one volunteer shouted drawing the group's attention to something he had discovered it was a dead bird uh okay that's creepy so 9 45 uh the bird drawing the group's attention blah blah, blah. at first glance it appeared that the bird had perhaps fallen out of its nest and landed at the base of a tree however it soon became clear that someone had mutilated the animal the bones of its wings had been removed and jammed into its own eye sockets. Oh my. The volunteer claimed he followed the sound of a crying animal to that spot, but he must have been mistaken because this bird had clearly been dead for a long time, judging by its smell. I convinced him to move along. After that, I could tell that a number of my team's team members had a hard time focusing. Uh, alright. So... Hoping to calm down my group, I called for an early lunch break at 1100. So 1100 lunch. Uh, Rosemary Kent, who was one of my group's members, had brought some sandwiches from the diner and my team uh, took a half hour to eat and regain some energy in a small hollow before pressing onward. So, lunch in a hollow. So, they also found a, a hollow. I'm wondering if it's going to be the same one. Time they were there that was 11 to 11.30. Okay. So, they would have been there prior to... If it is the same hollow. They would have been in that hollow uh, prior to... Deputy Weathers. Okay. But in between Deputy Weathers and... Uh, if you look at the actual times, it would have gone... Uh, Howard. Then Kurt Cooper. Then uh, Weathers. But that's not how it actually played out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Getting uh, your stuff all figured out for your uh, cipher. Some of these are reversed, and I can't tell which directions I'm taking a photo. Oh, there you go. Them on my phone. But this is like the dumbest idea. Whoever was doing this is an idiot because they did that clearly. But all these are on black, so getting the oh, black no. light to show up on them is almost impossible. Ugh. It's really hard. <laughs> so I'm getting there, but I'm still not That's sure. That's probably the part of it. Just trying to figure it out. Uh, yeah, it's just it's definitely all flipped different directions. Does it make it better if we turn the lights off? I didn't think to try that. I'm going to feel really stupid now if that works, though. <laughs> you want to try it? Yeah, there. Let me uh, turn off the overhead light and see if that makes it easier for you. And then we'll uh, I'll finish up this uh, timeline, too. It's about to get dark in your chat. I don't bum, think bum, it does. Bum. Really I mean, I'm not sure, but maybe we'll see. It's just. It's just because it's black. It's just not showing up super great. Like, it's just very... Oh, yeah. I can see a it a lot bit. better. Yeah. I couldn't hardly see it at all before, but now I can see it quite, a, quite yeah, well. Yeah, I feel stupid. Thank you. That's why I was trying to do multiples earlier. You missed it. I had one of the pens <laughs> in my mouth. I was waiting that for the comment. That one brighter. Yeah. This is the brightest of all three. Caveat. This is from the class of 98. This is not part of this kit. Our pen not working for this kit, which it came with its own black light, but it's just not working. Happy face. Yep, here you go. That's better, right? That makes it better. Rockstar. Rockstar. Okay. I see absolutely nothing. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. This actually does seem to work better, though. I think I can get all five in one now. Is this, where I, is this where I say that I'm going to add a uh, powerful black light to our Amazon shopping list for the holidays? No. Oh, okay. Oh, we need more stuff. <laughs> I love you. Does that, does that make it a little bit easier? It does, okay. actually. You're actually brilliant. Right. And I'm actually really So good I'm going to stay in the dark a little bit here. Or we're going to stay in the dark just for a little while longer. I'm just getting the photos and you yep. can turn it back on. I just, I'm just i absolutely fine. embarrassed at this point that I didn't think of that and that um, <laughs> you had to think of that. Well, I mean, so. look, I'm smart, okay? Sometimes I'm smart. SMRT. Yes. 
Exactly. Uh, all right. So Rosemary Kent, who was one of my group's members, had brought some sandwiches. We were talking about that. Uh, stayed for a half hour. Still following my compass west. So still moving westward at this point. I led my group until we came upon a creek. This was strange, as I had been certain that the only creek in the immediate area was the one to the east of the History Museum, which we had searched many times before. Nevertheless, I directed my party to scan the creek and surrounding woods. Uh, minutes into our scan of the area, at approximately 11.52, we found Liam Kent's belongings. All right. Uh, I asked my volunteers not to touch anything, and I took photos of the scene. I marked the location in case we need to come back for a more thorough search of the area. I then attempted to radio the news to my discovery of my discovery out to the other groups, but found that the, my device was malfunctioning. Although Rosemary <laughs> Kent urged me to press onward, I decided that it was more important to enter the items we had already found into evidence. Additionally, I could not, in good conscience, guide the group further into the woods without a reliable radio. We began to follow our compass back east to our final initial, or to back east to our initial rendezvous point. Within minutes, we encountered five members of Deputy Weather's team who informed us that they had decided to leave the search early but had become lost in the woods, taking almost three hours to make a trip that should have taken half as long. Despite having followed the trail markers they initially uh, set out due south, they must have wandered off course and found my group's trail markers instead. So, the five returned at 10.30 in the morning. Okay. That's when they left the group. Okay. So, if at 11.52, so, so around... the five returned, that's before the seven ended up at the hollow, right? Correct, yes. Okay. So, Weathers Group left at 09, um, and then um, they went they went due north, and at 10.30, five of their group turned around and went back south okay. and started following markers. Somehow, if we're doing the math, this doesn't math. So... It said... It's just hard, because who's giving the times? Is the person in that group giving the time for each? Yes. What if their watches all got jacked differently? That's what I'm saying. So on... everybody's times are all off. Yeah. So it said that this this five group of five yeah. were lost for three hours. What time? Was it? For 10.30, three hours later, that would be 1.30. And 11, 11, 12, 12, 20, yeah. Yeah. They were found somewhere around noon. Okay. Hour and a half difference. Yeah. So they were wandering for three hours. It should be 1230 for them. But instead, now it's somehow only noon. And they had been wandering for three hours. So I don't I don't know. This is all getting really weird. Maybe uh, we need to skip that and come back to it at the end. Like, maybe what he's stealing from everyone is their time. Like, I don't know what time. Maybe. Maybe he's screwing with their time. I don't know. Uh, this was very interesting. So 11.52, they found the belongings. They documented all that stuff. We'll say that um, they marked the location, began to follow compass back east, So and then at this point turned around. Okay. Uh, within minutes of turning around, they found it. So this has to be sometime around probably noon or a little after. Uh, we'll say noon just for the sake of it. Okay. And then... Okay, so, so we walked east for another hour until we reached the rendezvous point. Okay, so another hour. So we'll say that's 1 p.m. 
It doesn't really make sense that it it took. I mean, I guess they were moving. They could have been moving faster on the way back because they were they weren't really looking at that point. Whereas on the way out, they were looking, so it takes longer. Uh, despite the fact that we had spent at least four hours in the forest, forest, the sun appeared not to have barely left its position at all. I checked my watch and discovered that it was nine fifty-five. So that means that, according to this, they were only gone 55 minutes. So, and that less than an hour appeared to have passed since we first embarked. Once we process Liam's things, I highly recommend that we get them released to the mother of the missing boy as soon as possible. I think it would mean a lot. Hey, Nasty. What up, Nasty Nate? You doing okay? Uh, Alright, so I don't... Yeah, that's just creepy, man. That's <laughs> creepy and weird. You know, joking there. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you need the lights still? No. Okay. You're good. I think I'm good anyway. I'm checking this really quick, but you should be good. Okay. I wore my, I don't know if you saw it. I was I'm wearing my uh, nine line one piece shirt today. <laughs> I just finished watching the live stream, the live episodes from Netflix. But uh, all right, uh, okay. What do you want to look at next? Are you? Do you want to look at something with what you've got? We can, yeah. Okay. I mean, I can kind of explain what I've got, and you guys can help me from there because I'm kind of at a loss at this point. Okay. Uh, we do have a note. We do have this note as well. Okay. Isn't Maybe that will help. All I know is I've got stuff in here, but this was written by Anthony, so I'm assuming the person who doodled on this was Liam. So that's probably, probably. Liam's randomness. So I don't know if that has anything to do with this or not. I'm assuming it does, but I can't prove it yet. Right. But I don't know what this guy's writing where the 41, 42, 75, 14. Right. Like, I don't know what that means. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I don't know well. if that's tied to Liam's thing or if that's something totally different. It might be. We can take a look at it, this stuff, real quick. Actually, I didn't even think to look at the actual page and put a blue light on it. Which page? Okay. Oh, that, yeah. Just see if he's doing anything extra in oh, yeah. secret that I... not Anything on really... his drawing or anything like that? Exactly. Too? Who's? On the drawing. That? Yeah, that's that not. Your... That's the copy. The, the actual drawing's in the folder. My well, like there probably is, and I'm just missing something super obvious yet again. Oh, that cost 98 one. I think it's brighter. I do better. Here, why don't you take that one and start looking at that while I look okay. at this one? They're at least both better than the one that came with the box. It's just not doing well at all. So far, nothing. Yeah, I don't see anything. But we'll try, though. Okay. Nope. Don't see anything there either. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's just keep going for now. Okay. Let's, um, I don't know if we necessarily have enough. You want to look at the blue, yet. the blue page? Yeah, let's see that. Should be in. Yeah. Or there's mm -hmm. copy. Yeah, that's the actual. Or the uh, if you want your copy. I'm grabbing the copy. I give you the original. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So this is this should be uh, Liam's note is what it's uh, labeled as here. So this should be from Liam. I'm gonna have to go grab a battery pack. My bed phone's about to crash. Oh, yeah. And I need Lord. a place to go. Those photos. <laughs> you can go on. I'm with you. All right. So it says, I don't know if anyone's ever going to find this. If they do, I guess it might be on my body. But bodies go unrecovered in these woods all the time. My name is Liam. Please tell my mom and brother that I'm sorry. I thought that I was going to bring us all back together, but I was wrong. Mm-hmm. He said he'd bring me to my dad, but all we've done for what feels like days is walk deeper into the forest. There aren't any birds or deer. There's only Carver. I can't remember the last time I ate, but I don't feel hungry. Empty, but not hungry. We've been walking in circles. I miss mom. I miss my brothers. Or I miss my brother. I miss Tank. I don't like the way he looks at me, like he knows everything about me. Sometimes he laughs at nothing. 
Twice he's told me to keep it down like he was listening to something I didn't say out loud. When I ask him about dad, he laughs. Mostly he insists we're making progress, but that's insane. He's insane. We reached a clearing with a hollow stump in the middle, surrounded by carvings. He made a fire. I stay near it to stay warm, but I never look into the fire. I see terrible things when I look into it. We haven't moved from this spot in a long time. I don't know what we're waiting for. And he doesn't answer my questions. Sometimes he leaves for hours at a time. I never know he's back until I hear him breathing. Sticks don't break where he walks. Exquisite. Hello, welcome in. That's crazy that sticks don't break where he walks. Yeah. He disappeared again. I'm going to make a run for it. I can sometimes see the North Star in the sky. If I head away from it, I should be able to get back to town. It's so dark and so cold, and I'm so tired. I don't know how long I've been out here. But I can't sleep. I'm too scared. It's always so silent until I try to sleep. Then the noises come. Screeching and laughing and crying and growling. That's horrible. Just have to keep moving. I could swear that I've been going south for days without veering off course once, but I ended up back at the hollow just the same. He was waiting for me there. He looked up from the fire and laughed at me. Tried to run again. He's er, tried to run again. He said stop, and I stopped. I didn't want to, but my body just listened. He finally told me what he wants. I guess he told me before I ever followed him into here, but I just didn't listen. I want to throw up, but there's nothing in my stomach. Gotta be careful what I leave lying around. I'm using everything Dad taught me. I wish that I had my light with me, but I'm glad that I had plenty of pins in my pocket when I left, including a special one. <laughs> okay. Nothing. Nothing? No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm calling bluff on that one. All right. Uh, it says, I want to go home. 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 And that's all it says all the way around to this other edge. Just repeating that. I want to go home. Uh, and then on this side, we've got, can't risk being found out. Going to pretend like I'm doodling and hope that you find my folder. I'll make one last break for it and throw this as far into the woods as I can. Six will show what he wants if you know how to line it all up. Six will show what it wants? I don't know what that means. If anyone finds this, Carver wants me to do something horrible and I don't know if I can resist. Please stop us. And then there's a box. I don't know if it's a... I'm guessing SV, but maybe it's upside down here. SU? Here, let me see your photo of that one, too. I'm adding them all into this so I can play with them and see if I can make Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm adding the two of these in there, too, in a second. So let me just take a photo of them. That works. Oh, wow, there's a lot of words. Okay. Because the thing is, I think that's right, but some of these have been flipped back and forth different ways. Those are the only two you had? Those were the only two letters, okay. yeah, that were in boxes like that. Okay, okay I'm gonna say everything else is just right. I'm gonna writing. say that was absolutely the way it should be. Okay. Yeah, we'll say that. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So let's see. We've gone over that. We've gone over that. That. Do any of the boxes, any of the boxes that you have found mm -hmm. with letters in them, mm -hmm. do any of them have lines in them? And that does have lines. It's just like, it's basically like... No, 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 not, not by, I mean like inside of the boxes. What do you, I'm so confused. Like, like this. See how it's a box with a line in it? No. Okay. Not a line. See, right. none, nothing. It's just letters. But all right. the lines continue on 
and are like chicken scratch on. So I'm trying to right. look for patterns so I can match up the letters. That's what I was on. thinking was that it, if it matched up to this, maybe if there was like, if you saw like a three box corner with a little line inside of that corner box, you would know that it I mean, lines you up. You know me, I, I'm not but that good. I don't see anything on that. That looks one. crisper than these hand drawn ones do. Right. So I'm just seeing where I can plug these in and just see what I can get to work right. out. It's like a giant puzzle. Okay. So the math ain't mathing. What are we still missing that we need to go over while I'm still working on this? Uh, the Burkittsville History Museum Incident Report. So uh, this is from Anthony Rapineau. Uh, this is... Okay, so I know this incident has already been deemed unworthy of report, but I need it all on the record. Over the past several days, I've been finding the museum's one copy of of witches and other warnings where it shouldn't be. At first, it was on the floor near its shelf where it easily could have fallen if not shelved correctly. A few hours after I put it back, however, I found it on the floor of my office, then on top of my desk. Each time it's shown up out of place, I've reshelved it in its proper position. Just now, when I stepped away from my desk for less than a minute, I came back to find it on my desk and open to the poem about the towering man. This is this is this of witches and other things. It's a poem about towering man. So the first one is called the we have a preface and then the hairy woman. The towering man, number two. And then number three is the lights. Number four is the pale thing. Okay. So, we'll read that here in a second. I have no idea who could be moving it. We've seen very little foot traffic in the past few days and more, and none whatsoever today. No matter how you look at the situation, we've got one of three things on our hands. A carbon monoxide leak, a truly masterful prankster, or a case of supernatural interference. Another update. I just looked up from writing this report, and the book is gone. I'm closing the place up early today. Uh, NA for everything else. Please report file no. Anthony Rapineau. Uh, all right. So, the, this is the one copy in that entire place, and it went missing, and then it was found in Liam's folder. Do you think Liam took it, though, or do you think uh, someone else took it? It's it interesting found, though, because half the half because, the half of the words, half the letters that are in this, which he's obviously using here, are his writing. Right. So the question though is, did Anthony, not Anthony, did Liam sneak the the tricks to help us solve the puzzle into the book maybe. without the guy knowing? So chat, I just added into the Discord. I added uh, three more files. These files are from the kentcase.com website. Uh, I went ahead and just downloaded those, put those in here. Uh, that's what we'll look at on here instead of looking directly on the site. Uh, but one of those items is an image of the photo that they took of the area of stuff that was found. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe that wasn't. Right, let me read. Where's the... Let me find this. What's wrong? I'm trying to figure out where this book came from of how we ended up with it. Uh -huh. It was. It doesn't look like it was actually in with all this stuff. I see the blue note, the report, the note from Carver, the wood disc. Okay, so the wood disc was with this stuff. Okay. Uh, the wood disc, the image, and his folder. And why would Carver have left a clue for us to find regarding Liam? What, you mean as far as the book? No, like, why would Carver have left us that and allowed us to have access to Liam's drawing, too, if he didn't know? Well, I think coach? Liam had that. I think Liam right, grabbed this all that and like threw it. It was staged by Carver because he left his note in the, in the folder. Well, no, no, no. I'm wondering if that's something that. Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know if. Uh, yeah, I don't know then. Because yeah, Liam said that he fun. threw the folder. He was taking his folder and then he was going to throw it as far as he could. I just don't understand how. Carver's letter to Rosemary got into the folder. Right, that's what I'm saying. I, that's bothering He probably me. did put it in there. It's just, it was a threat to Rosemary. Why Correct. Why he want to threaten his mom? I don't know. Uh, let's see.
There were other things we found sitting right alongside those papers of his that made no sense at all. He recognized a book. Okay, so it was near this stuff. It's just not in the photo. Um, well, it was near that stuff. The, this book, the, of which okay. has been... Yeah, this book was found near that stuff. It's just not in the photo. Gotcha. Um, so... This is the book that I'm referring to, of witches and other warnings. Okay. So it mentioned the Towering Man poem. So let's take a look at this. So the Towering Man, the story of the Towering Man stretches back to at least the 1940s and perhaps even beyond that and has appeared in several formats. Tales of the Towering Man commonly describe a ghastly figure lurking in the Black Hills Forest. This figure is tall despite being hunched over and possesses long limbs. Occasionally he is described as having a beard that is either full of broken twigs or made of twigs and having skin made of tree bark. He is Groot. Uh, many tales describe him as the ghost of an executed child killer. This particular tale of the Towering Man was a rhyme that gained traction with local school children from the late 50s and continued to circulate into the 80s and was recollected to me by lifelong Burkittsville resident Harriet Gillard. All right, here you go. Here's the poem. Beware, beware the towering man, for lure and catch and kill he can. He lurks so deep within the wood, you'll have no worries if you're good. But if you venture far from home, if deep into the woods you roam, You'll see what seems a moving tree coming towards you, that is he. On children naughty, glum, or mean, in their demeanor he is keen. He draws them in with clever tricks, then snaps their necks like little sticks, like brittle sticks. Best keep your eyes upon the path unless you want to taste his wrath. For suffering children in a sack, the man was stretched upon the rack. His final words he yelled so loud, I hope my deeds have made her proud. His mistress is that old Blair Witch, who turned his heart as black as pitch, tore off his skin, wrapped him in bark, and gave him powers of the dark. The towering man you cannot fight, your only hope, stay in the light. Uh, so I did notice something. In this poem, there are numbers. numbers. I did see numbers, but there's only 20. Some of these go up to like 17, 77, 86. One of them says, well, never mind. It could be taken two different ways. Does it go up to at least 23? 24. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's line 5. Yep. So these correspond with what line number they are. Line 4, word 1. Try that. Line 4, word 1 is YOL. Y-O-U apostrophe L-L. Okay. Line four, word two. Have. Okay. Line seven, word five. A. So far, I'm getting a good vibe. Line 14, letter five. Letter five? Or word five? Or word five, sorry, whatever. Okay. 14, five. Like, that's okay. the, yeah. Taste. Okay, and then next is 22. And it's the fourth word. Powers. Make sure I did that right. If, if you want, yeah, okay. okay, and then um, seventh uh, line, word three. What? Line 23, word 4. 23? Yep. You? And then line 14, word 3. What? Line 8, word 6. Line what? Line 8, word 6. Line eight again, word four. Is. Line eight again, word oh, one. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, sorry. 
You said line. You said line, line eight, eight word, word four. four. Yeah. Uh, that. And then line eight word six is he again. Word. What is line, it? Line eight again. So line six. eight word six is he. Okay, and then line eight word one. Coming. And then line four word seven. Line four word seven one two. Good. See, this isn't quite working for me now. It was good for a minute there. You'll have a taste. Power's what you want. Be that coming good. You know what I mean? Like, you might have to check against the hint. You'll have a taste. Something. Yeah. Power is. So apostrophe S maybe. So oh, powers. Oh, powers. Okay. Um, yeah. Is that powers? Powers are. Oh no! Yeah, powers. Yeah, this doesn't. Maybe we just add the apostrophe. Power. Powers. What you want. Power is what you want. Yeah. Yeah. But he's um, he that coming good. Like I something's wrong there. Did I screw this? What's up the somehow? last uh, ones again? Line. Uh, eight. So it's line eight for a lot of these. So go to line eight. Okay. It's word six, which you said was he. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Word six. One, two, three. Four, five, yep, he. And then back up two words. It should be line, uh, line eight, still so word four. Yep, is that. So he, that. Yeah. Okay. And then word one from line eight. He, that, coming. Yeah. And then I've got four, seven as the ending one. Huh. Yeah, so I don't know. That last little bit's got me confused. Oh, the number? I'm thinking you need yeah. to check the, the hint okay. tips just to see if I'm wrong on something. Yeah. I'm working on this other puzzle. I'm just perplexed at this point. Okay, so let's take a quick look. So, is this the symbols that you're seeing on there? For what? For Carver's. Yeah. These are the symbols. They correspond to letters. Right. Okay, so I thought you said they corresponded to numbers. These translate in English to words that say numbers. Oh, the word that say seven, numbers. Word okay, eight. sorry. When yeah. you said they translated to numbers, yeah, I Yeah, this I symbols translate to okay. words that spell out numerical values. It makes sense. Uh... So you got eight six, yeah, eight five. All right. Yep. So that would be is. Yep. That is is. So he is coming. Coming. Good. And then the last one is, or so, five seven. Is that what you got? Oh, see, I screwed that up again. So five seven. No, I had four seven. So okay. what's the so five is right there. Number seven. Um, he is coming home. Okay. Well, I'm not perfect. I was rushing. You'll have a taste. Powers what you want. He is coming home. Okay. So he who he can't be someone else. Right, 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 right. So. Wait, hold on. I think there was another one that was incorrect. What? So you got, let me read this off to make sure this is what you got. 4 1. Yep. 4 2. Yep. 7 5. Yep. 14 5. Yep. 22 5. Crap. Nope, that one's wrong. I don't have those two words so, look so much alike. I assume things. Sorry. So line 22 5. Yeah. 1 2 3 4. Or five of. So of not powers. So you'll have a taste of what you want. He is coming home. Okay. There we go. Okay, sorry. so that's I'm sorry. That's what we did. Oh good. All right. 
So some, for some reason, Carver left a message for Rosemary, coded, saying that you'll have a taste of what you want. He is coming home. All right. Okay. So it looks like, yes, we do need to... I think you're on the right track with trying to figure out how to combine everything. All those boxes. Yep. He's left some type of... He's left the name... I think he's left the, us a hint at what it is from that uh, what blue... What he's going for? Like, what the next... What the bad guy's going yeah, for? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what this yeah. is. I think that's what this was saying, basically. So basically, we crack this. That's what we um, turn to Rosemary, is what you're telling me. Yeah, see, six will show what he wants if you know how to line it all up. So there must be six items that we need to be looking for to line everything up. The four hidden things plus these two. But that's my guess. Yeah. I'm working on it. It's just taking okay. a while because it's freaking difficult. Uh, let's see. Can I look at all the original? Is this all the originals? Correct. Okay. What do you mean? I'm just gonna look through all of it just to see okay. what all else there is that maybe I'm missing I just anything. Don't have it quite yet. Yeah, there's a couple of online documents still, which is the uh, okay. the blog post and then the good fences. Okay. Um, but I don't know if there's gonna be anything in there for us. Okay. You already looked over this and this, right? So there was nothing. Um, Liam didn't write. Liam's the only one that writes on this. Apparently, and, are they in the invisible ink? Yeah, well, this was yes. from Carver. Yeah. yeah. We said there was nothing on the image. Check me again. I mean, I was looking at that right at the beginning with the crappier pen. The image? So, yeah. No, I looked again. at the image okay. as well. Yep. Uh, this is all from the sheriff's department as well. Okay. I don't see anything on the folder. Can you do oh, me a favor? Can you? There's something on this though. On the actual thing? On the on the disciplinary report. Okay, can you do me a favor really quick? What's that? Can you position this how you had it originally? Because what you saw, I'm not seeing. Okay. But I don't think I'm on like the right this? track. I need it to be positioned so this. I can overlay these like that. So that's what you were doing? Yeah, okay. so because this, do you see this? Like this would be the, it lo it's supposed to look humanoid. So this would look, this would be the in the Blair Witch symbol. It's the Blair Witch symbol. I understand, but I'm having trouble overlaying the two images. I can't cut them out of each other, so I'm having a trouble. I was trying to draw it oh, manually, okay. but I can't visualize between the two, and I think I have this reversed the wrong direction in comparison, so I was asking for you to position it correctly so I can spin this to match it to then hand draw it. Got it. So, so I can't yeah, so that's superimpose what it is. the images. Okay. So I need this back on the bottom then. So I had it right in the beginning. Deck now, but okay. Keep okay. going. Sorry. No, you're okay. Uh, and then, so it looks like on here... Yep, I got more boxes. Oh, thank God. I don't have enough. Okay. So we have uh, on here, it says, It wasn't my fault. I saw his face and just saw red. I couldn't stop hitting him. So that's when he was scratching that kid and he didn't even know what yeah. was going on. I just got to get the box really quick. So yep, I keep and here's your bubble. box of so stuff. Okay. At least this one's not reversed like the last five have been. Okay, is that it? Yep, that's okay. it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything on the back. Yeah, that should be closer. Cause that should be enough stuff now. So how many boxes have, do we have then? Or how many sets of boxes? Are just yeah, I know you're good. I just want to make sure I worded it right. I get rid of that and that. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five sets. Okay.
Oops. I wonder if it would be easier to draw. You know what? I just thought of something. What? I can actually take this, trace what I've got, and then drag the other thing over and size it properly to True. it. True. <laughs> I just realized that they doodle doesn't stick on the actual photo. Let me try that really quick to see if I can get any faster, any closer, because I'm just striking out right now. All right. So I'm thinking... Do you think this right here, can I ask you a question? Do you think this right here, um, that right there is part of it? That's not in any yeah, of the grid lines, it, it that's goes, in between. It, it attaches to that. So that thing right here attaches to the big... To the top okay, of yep, this, okay. yeah. So... Let me move this out of the way. That would be right about... You're good. I was going to overlay what I just figured out on top of the newer yeah. one to see what I've got okay. going on here, if that makes sense. So yeah, this is what I was going to do. I can size this accordingly until it fits correctly. My drawing's not very straight, Chet. I'm just kind of assuming that this is where hell goes. Assuming what? Completing the boxes on the on stream by using the annotate and draw thing. So it looks like if I trace this you got um Oh, are you doing the same thing? Yeah, kind of. I'm hitting. I just can't. Like, I won't be able to. What you like, had, what you had, how you're having this angled. This isn't overlaying very well. Like I'm not getting it to fit, no matter what I do. I, I looking at the two images. It's, it's the Blair Witch symbol. Is that what you, you think? Yes. Let me just look at the other page and copy it. I have it from a few episodes ago. So He's not getting it to line up for some freaking reason. So okay. the so it's the, basically see, a cross with an X yeah. going through it. It's that the red. So okay, here. okay. So this right here is the cross. That and that is the cross. Yeah. So basically, the you have the arms, I right? See it Kind of like that. Yep. Basically. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that the arms if the arms go out that far, but yeah. What do you mean go out that well, far? Well, because the box only goes to here. Oh well that one I was yeah, yeah. I thought you were doing no, with those fine. and I'm like those I was really careful. No. Are you kidding me? So Alright. So if that's kind of our rough idea, let me Yeah, move so that's that. that. But I don't know if here. that um you have a do you I can't I don't know what all the boxes look like. Do those line up with the... That's what I was getting ready to play with. So I've got... I'm just going to make this small for a second. So basically I have a corner here. So that's a corner. This could fit anywhere. That looks like it's a side. Right. I just can't tell which side. But okay, it's how three many across. of those you this have? also three across. One, two, three, Everything I have is four, roughly three five. across. Yeah. So I wonder if there's this one This one, though, more. would fit... This one would fit really nicely, like right under here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Then I'd have I would have J N H C F across the top. Like I'm wondering if this and that fit together. No, because this that would have to be in that top corner. Okay, so it's probably J N W S Y L M. Uh, What's up? I'm uh, just taking a look at stuff. I'm moving stuff back out of the way so that I don't get it all mixed up. Yeah, you're fine. Something tells me this SV might go in this bottom corner right here. That looks like a giant hole for these two letters that would fit perfectly. So... I think does Liam, right Liam always calls his brother Skunk, right? No. Is that what it is? Wait. There was a word Skunk we read today, but... I yeah, 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 right here. Shut up, shut up, Skunk. But I'm trying to think of why. Oh. You guys got any ideas? I'm so suck. 
So we've made it through. I'm looking at some of the hints because we are kind of stuck. So it says that there's more to Liam's note than meets the eye. We already figured that part out. He's hidden the name of Carver's target across several documents. We already figured that part out. What uh, is his target? Oh, is it Rosemary? Is that his target? Yeah. I don't understand. Huh? Who's the target? I'm not understanding that. That's what we're trying to find out. Oh, I thought then, you said we already know that for some reason. I thought no, I heard you no, 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 no. Okay. We already know that Car or that Liam hid the name of Carver's target. Okay. So the um. Uh, there is more to the school disciplinary note. We already saw that. Pay attention to the way that Liam addresses his brother in the school disciplinary note. Skunk. That wasn't his brother, though. Oh, no, maybe it was. Shut up, skunk. Because the, the brother was yelling at him to stop. Right. I thought the shut up skunk was the kid. He was no, yelling no, no. At the so kid he yelled at his skunk. brother sh saying shut up skunk. Okay. But was there something in a previous episode that we learned... Wasn't there some? Was it an interview with his brother? Was it? I don't. You have? Do you have the notes from the previous episode? I have that everything. Find what it? do you want? You Just trying. To, there was want. something in a previous episode that where it was something about that his brother always. Liam's brother said that Liam always calls him something, and was that? Um, skunk? I guess I'm trying to think. Let's look at the journal then. The journal, maybe. Maybe. I'm trying to think of something where Liam would be talking about how he feels or what he's thinking, and so the journal. Well, no, I, in my thought. head, I was thinking that was something that Liam's brother wrote. We don't have any writing from his brother, though. Okay. I don't. Or any kind of statement from his brother. I don't think so. I've got okay. an opening letter. I've got a journal from Liam. I've got a news article about the death of the dad. Two bad boy articles from the kid at school. An interview with the people. Rosemary, like Rosemary, was being asked some stuff. Liam's missing, so he obviously wasn't interviewed. Wait, wait, wait. Go. What, uh, let's see what was on this one. Here, just take the little binder. Tristan Kent, also present in the interview, was the interviewee's mother. That's a. That's the brother. Tristan, that's the brother. That's what I'm talking about. But there's nothing about the word skunk. Oh, here it is. Okay, that's what he calls me. Something. Uh, calls me sometimes as skunk. He thinks I don't like it, which is why he does it, but I do like it. Okay, so I don't know why we need why that something. Maybe it's showing that he was actually in his own head, even though he doesn't remember doing it, or like Maybe. he's not being in control. So that's like an account right before the kid went missing, is what it sounds like. Right. I'm really close on this part, so I'm gonna keep going on this. I really think I've got it. I'm just trying to fine tune it really quick. Okay, no worries. Alright, so let's take a look at the computer again, see if there's anything at all. Not seeing anything. Oh, yep, right here. I missed it. Three more. Every time I think I get closer, you find more of the puzzle. <laughs> I think this is it. This will be number six. Okay. They did this again. Oh my god, go turn off all the lights. It's okay. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Alright, let's uh Oh, no worries, Exquisite, no worries. Hi, Exquisite. Okay. Turn off that light and then we'll turn off this light. And we're going to see if we can see this a little bit better. Here we go. Is that better? I'm going to try coming out with two angles. Mm -hmm. It's just a line. Does it say the word TKE to you? Yep. That does show up a lot better. Is that it? Yep. That should be number six because you only had five. Well, then that just takes what I just figured out out of options because so, it's not fitting that is, that is board. so that should be all six and then somehow those are supposed to all piece together you're good now that i have that piece i can rearrange it really quick i just without that piece i was doing it slightly differently than what i need to be doing obviously 
trying to crop this down really quick. Edit crop. Actually, I know. Basically, we've got these six. I think these two go at the top. Okay. Because I, I, that's just a theory, but I could be wrong. I thought this would go up under here because how it's laying. But if I did it the way I was originally doing it, not counting that, the one you found, this one won't fix. I don't have three open spots anywhere. Huh. This is the only thing I had thought of so far that looked promising, but it's okay. not going to fit. But the problem is that's not enough letters for the whole grid. It's got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Actually, it does have 25. 5 times 5. Okay. Okay, that is enough letters. So that should fill the entire grid. So somehow this is wrong. We just need to figure out what to do differently. I just thought this would fit well on top of this, where the T would go here, and then these two would sit on top of it, and then this would hit right down on that. Maybe. That's what it is. And then this goes off to the left. Okay. Maybe. No, because there's... How many boxes do we have across the top? One, two, three, four, five. You know what? I'm wrong. There's this five. Can't, this can't go in that upper corner because of the way it's laid. There's one missing. There's one, there's like one hole here missing, so it wouldn't work. Okay. Because of the way this falls, so this cannot be in that top corner. I do think that's right on the money, but the rest of it's a complete free for all. And you can touch it, move around, and all yeah. go separately. I have the Blair Witch one on a previous page. Hold on, sorry. My phone is close okay. to dying. So. Let me draw another grid here. These grids are getting rougher, so I'm getting really tired. This is right. Okay, let me do this. I'm going to. No, no, you're good. I just need to draw some stuff out. Uh. Okay, right, so we have... Basically, this is a W-shaped piece. If you ever think of, like, patchwork and all those games we play, it's like... It how did like it... This. So I, I, you wrote the letters, but... How, oh, yeah, so draw out the like, box. Yeah, that's what I was going to try to do. So it's basically, like, it's three at the top, and then it's two more here, followed by one more here. So it's like a W piece is kind of how it is. But this is missing. Ah, uh, okay. Does that make sense? So it's like a W, so it's... Okay, so yeah. and that is... Um... Okay, so you have... I tried my hardest to kind of draw the box, but that one was just so... And I could be wrong on those letters. Those were so hard to make out, I'm not guaranteeing on those. If you want, we should probably double-check that I'm right on those letters before we get too far, because otherwise it won't be worth a darn anyway. Right. Just because those were so impossible to read, and I had to flip them. They weren't English when they were photographed the way I photographed okay. them. Okay. I'm really sorry. This one's kind of dry, unfortunately. It's a good one. It's just not as fun to watch it live, I don't think complicated right if you like puzzles this Definitely. is a good one uh let's see Just double check me here okay. so we have that one uh we have this one this is three blocks by two. Three by three. Okay. And then there is a this is also three. And then comes down and over. There we go. And next up was this one you said was flipped. So this one is. It's this one. Look at me. Uh, I think it's yeah, I K T G T. Okay. You have a prediction? It was us. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Uh, well, right now I'm just trying to put the do place of Tetris so the letters don't matter as much at the moment. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, so th this one was also three blocks with two blocks coming off of it. Okay. 
and then a W piece, yep, okay, and then a straight uh, three piece. Are you saying that this may fit together differently when they're not flipped around? Is that what you're saying? No. Not at all. I flipped it myself. No, I was asking because of the way these are laying. It's just not looking. No, I didn't. I no because uh, because the boxes all I mean, looked differently before I flipped them. They were in different positions before I flipped them and rotated. Right, right, right. But all the all yeah, but you, all the letters need to be upright so that you that you can read it. I think, but uh, I just don't know anymore. Oh, here we go. Oh, great! That's nice Let's to know now. This. You know what? I think I just found it. I. Okay. Did you? T I don't know. I'm letting you know in two seconds. We were Carver the whole T time. T J T N A N T A N. Yep, found it. I got it. Okay. You got it all. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. So basically, it is T K E is up in this top corner. Oops, sorry. Wait. So. Okay. This is very rough. Let me just print this real quick, and then we'll write it in. Okay. Well, I have it really roughly written, but yeah. Okay, ease up there. I realized so I had to find a way to plug the hole. That. Uh, so with this, that... This goes, like, right up out. in there. So this is the very rough version of it. But yeah, if you want to print it out, we can hand it out. Yeah, I just this printed it. This is kind of how it roughly lays, but yeah, I okay. just found it. Wow. I think that was the longest yeah. puzzle it's taken for me to solve. That one was awful. Awfully challenging. All right. So if this is okay. it, I tell you words or letters you write. Can you just double check with me really quick? I just want to make sure that this J is correct. There was one chunk. It, uh, it was, which, it was, it was, the, it was that was it? W. It was the, the thing. W. Okay. So the W. I just is, want to make sure. I was it right upside letters. down? It was like all kinds of cattywampus. It was. Okay. It was a mess. That looks like an upside down J. Okay, because that's what I took it as. I basically okay. took it as J N D A and then an N again. Okay. So, uh, with this, then we have, so the top okay. letter is what? Top letter's T. Okay. You going across or down? Across. I. W. S. Y. Okay. And then the next line is, okay. Okay. Again. Okay. G. T. E, okay. L. And third line E, E, J, N, M. Fourth line D is in dog A, H, C, F. D A H C F. C F. Okay. Then N R G. Yep. S V. Yeah. So basically, like this uh, tucked into that, and this hangs out the bottom corner. What's going on? No, just trying to figure out what what we need from that. Can you uh, just make sure that we're right on that before we keep going? Because otherwise, there's no point. No, it's off. What the hell? There's another way to do it. Apparently. Oh. No. I don't Sorry. know. So somehow the letter I needs to be up in the top corner. Doesn't... Which one has that letter I in it? The T? Uh, this one right here. No, this one. It's I, K, T, and then G, T off to the side. It's the one All that's right, an I. So I, K, and what? then this is T. Or, yeah, T. And then G, T. Okay, so... I don't understand this at all, babe. I'm sorry. I'm frustrated. You're okay. I know. I'm going to... Hold on a second. You're good. I'm going to so map it out and see. Okay, so that bottom chunk, I see the W in the bottom chunk like I thought it was. That part's right. Okay, so... What did I... Oh. Is there really one more, way, more than one way to fit this all together? It's so weird. So there's that one. And then what one has the WSY? The one that looks like a right angle. Okay, and that's only a three by that goes this way. W S Y and then down to go basically W S Y and then down to the M and then over one and back up. 
over up. Okay. And then and TK is by itself, so that's its own thing. There. Okay. And then the Dan, so you see where it's like D A H. Right. So basically, you go this in. This is the go, we're W. Gonna in, yeah. So basically, in down. Yep. Exactly. Okay. You know what? It works both ways. What I did works both ways because all they did, you see the TKE on the right, pick those three letters up, Move put them, all the way them to left. onto the IKT. That's stupid. <laughs> so I'm not wrong, technically. <laughs> they okay. just didn't think through the puzzle and realized that it had more than one solvability. Because literally, because it's just a three piece chunk. Well, I mean, he's a kid, okay? Away. Like, take Shove it easy it. on him. <laughs> I mean, you know, he was trying to, he's trying to send us a message and help us out. So, you know, he just, he was taking so basically, it easy. Basically, instead of this being a corner, it was in the middle and they just shifted the TKE over. Well, good. I'm glad we checked that because that would have been really okay. bad because we would have never gotten farther because that was not right. So, that's yeah. fun. So, and then this was. Crap. What are you asking? Sorry, TKE. No, this, I was just drawing off the last uh, two. So that, and then this one. So yeah. that's how it broke apart, chat. That's how you put that puzzle together. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now this... We still have no idea how to solve this. Although I just wrote it on... I'm assuming here, it's where these letters touch, right? Where that symbol touches stuff is the letter Probably. Need. So it touches in the middle box, which can is... Can I take a photo of this? Or can I... Are you just posting that in the chat? Uh, right yeah, I will. Yep. Because then I can grab it. Die. Okay, uh, I'm going to call this the wood puzzle. Save and then I will put that into Discord. Am I missing something? Weird. Hmm. I might need your help for a second, babe. For some reason, the Discord's not working for me. It's like, there's no C-thread. I can't, hold on, hold on. It's 2%. I can't I don't think. It's just, there's no thread there. Do I see you try to reload Discord? No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Should be there. That's one Blair Witch episode 3. Right, like I see like the the photo, but I just don't see a C thread for me to get to it. But it's probably what I'm doing wrong. I don't know how to navigate the site very well. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, it's still, it says connecting. Oh, okay, having, so it's my internet. It's the Wi Fi it, is having issues. It's because this phone's about to crash. It's oh, 2%. you're connected to the printer. No, I didn't connect to the printer. Did you print something? Did you print something from your phone? Yeah, but I, I always do it from the wireless for our house, not the printer. Oh, well, for some reason, it connected wirelessly okay, to the you're printer. Fine. No worries. Sorry, so. I don't want to delay chat. I'm sorry. I'm no, you're fine. Right now. I know. You. It's okay. I just thought yeah. it, it was probably when we went and printed something earlier, it yeah. probably just auto connected to the printer. I've never had so to do it's that. It's all good. It's bizarre. Thank you. Yeah. All so right. that should refresh and you should be good there. Uh, so it looks like uh, if we use. This so we should have S is at the top, and then at the left arm is a K. And there's another. The G would also be not the G, but the second letter down from S, right? The T would count. I don't know if it would. But there's a line going down the center of that column. Well, there's a line, yes, but I'm looking at the just the tips of everything, maybe. Oh, what's making you think that? I don't know, because like maybe it's pointing to things, maybe. but I don't know if this is pointing and this is pointing as well. So, well, it'd be N and U on the bottom. 
Yeah, just the tip exquisite. That's all. Uh, that's all. So that NMU I was on at. the bottom, it'd be K and is that? No, it's not. I keep looking at that, and, and that's not right. You're right. I have to go away. Sorry, I was no, using, you're good. I was I using keep... that so I knew where the oh, ends were. So not the letters, though. I'm not looking at the letters. I'm just looking the letters at that. are wrong, right? Correct. Okay. It's just not screwing me up because I keep looking at that and thinking those are the right letters. Sorry, I thought. Yeah. No, you're good. Uh, it... I just I can't because this doesn't have that on it. It's throwing right. me off. You're good. I'm just gonna have to let you do this part because I can't process it not to mention my phone's gonna die anyway skunk so again i was right this entire time he's going after the brother yeah he's going after the brother that was like the taboo cliche thing to do at the beginning of this entire discussion <laughs> i even said so like, going when you look at it when you look at just the not even not even these here but just this 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 and this okay. when you look at it on here and you start at the top so do we need to put skunk spell, or tristan spell skunk I'm guessing Tristan, because that's his actual name. That makes sense. Uh, that'd be my guess. Uh, let's take a look and see if we're right on that, and then we can uh, do some little. Oh, we gotta get to the T. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do the T, <laughs> right, with the good fences. Yeah. Uh, but let's uh. Did we check do all the documents? Out. I don't even remember. Huh? Did we get all the documents done? I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, we've been through all of them other than reading the blog and the good fences. Okay, so let me go here and find tip line, new message, and we are going to type in Tristan. Is it? Uh, do you have a, the spelling of his name from that interview still? T R I S T E N, right? P R I S T A N A N. All right, and then Kent K E N T, right? <laughs> Gossip. <laughs> Gossip time. Yep. Okay. Well, let's send this first. Okay, we have an audio message, so this must be. We must have been correct. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Uh, we'll take a listen. Well, this guy says you're going to do a stressful fright because she already lost one kid. Now she's facing losing another. Right. That we be a wee bit stressful. All right, let's do this. Pretty good to have it on the folder. I would have never saw that. That was pretty good. Yeah, I almost didn't see it. Like, I, I mean, the first time I looked at that folder, I didn't see it. Mm -mm, no, it's just it's so dark. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good though. Let me make sure. Let me find my music here. Let's turn this. Pause that, and I need to make sure this gets included in our audio recording. There we go. Okay. Uh, y'all ready to listen to Rosemary's message? Okay, here we go. Let me turn it up uh, here so you guys can make sure you guys all can hear it. Make sure we can hear it. Okay. Mm. Here we go. No, not Tristan. Not my little skunk. I'm on my way home right now. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Of all the times to be stuck at a goddamn red light. Come on, come on, come on. Turn green, damn it. Turn green. Turn green! Is she gonna make it? I don't know if she's gonna make it in time. He's not going to get what he wants. Not again. Not ever again. Oh no. I called Lanning's office. He should be on his way. Oh. 
I'm going to rip Carver's head off. Be mad. I'm going right? to scatter his body all through the woods. Tristan? Tristan? Honey? Please answer me right now. Trist? Uh oh. It's a dog, Tristan? Right? Tristan? Where are you? Tristan! Tristan! I'm waiting for the what, Mom? <laughs> oh, no. I was playing with it. Doesn't sound like it. I swear gone. I heard the dog though. Did I not hear the dog? Oh, no. Yeah, no, I heard a dog. I thought the dog was going to happen. What? I thought the dog went everywhere with him. I don't know. And you're not going to either. We are going to fix this. That's Lanning. I'm going to have to talk to him. Maybe he'll be in touch. Maybe. All right. Whoops. The bro both brothers are missing now. So now it's not even just Liam. It looks like it's both Liam and Tristan that have gone missing. I'm just curious what he wants with them and why he lured him into the woods. There must be something. The father. If if it's not the father. I don't know. There's yeah. there's something that like tells I me mean, he's obviously targeting Rosemary for a reason. Yeah. Carver's targeting Rosemary. Part of me's wondering if maybe he loved her at some point and she chose the dad over him. Maybe. It's always a lover scorned. I mean, right. Really. Although I did notice a little tidbit for fun. Anthony Rapino's family member Giovanni Rapino. Oh yeah. Us. Oh nice. I'm gonna assume they're related and probably mind, just purely and then i really like this one wants to stay anonymous the person who took this wants to stay anonymous okay the, the person lives in burkittsville <laughs> uh-huh i just gotta think a little kick out of that because it very much looks like aliens coming out of the wild yeah we haven't read the rest of the booklet mm -hmm. so but I'll i mean that was the big part time. of the oh, yeah, booklet yeah, yeah, that no. uh, needed but i was just but, laughing because uh, it's all local people's interpretations and drawings of right. the characters so i just thought it was a little kick like, i got cool. a little kick out of it so uh, it'll be fun to read through it further and see if there's any more tidbits to bring up for next time right so up next, what we have is, uh, this is the blog posting from the Kent Case site. Uh, right? Yeah, excuse me. Whoa, whoa. Right? Uh, whoa, whoa. Definitely didn't expect uh, that uh, at all. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and then... We'll get this uh, audio file downloaded. We'll get that put in the uh, Discord as well. So let me minimize that. There we go. Okay, so blog posting. Was, uh, let's see. I think it always starts at the bottom, right? And then goes to the top. Uh, so uh, Correct. Yeah. She's basically Most updating recent is at it the constantly. Top. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I feel like these posts are the only thing I can really control. It is easy to give up when you feel weak and frustrated about the things you can't do. I know my son is out there. I know I can find him and bring him home. The nightmares don't end. Can't sleep for more than a couple of hours at a time. They're always the same. Always about Liam and the forest. I see his silhouette through the trees, and I feel a loneliness I know is his as much as it is mine. We are so close to finding him. I trust that more than anything, Anthony's been as great a help as other, and the detective I hired is making progress. All I have to do is get the rest of the town to help. This is a numbers game, that's all. When Liam was a kid, he made me a necklace out of beads with the word mommy on it. He was so shy about giving it to me, but when he did, I could tell how excited he was. He said, I made this about you. Not for you, but about you. The, that always stuck with me. It felt that even at a young age, he knew who I was, just like I knew him. The necklace is still in my jewelry box, and it still feels brand new when I look at it. it still feels like he trusts me when I hold it. I was finally able to convince some people to join me in looking for Liam, though we didn't really find anything. Is I am this still... what that huh? was from? Is this the day that the, all that paper was from? When they went looking uh, and got really confused. Maybe. Or this might be after. Oh, okay. 
Um, I was finally able to convince uh, some, some people to join me in looking for Liam, though we didn't really find anything. I am still grateful for all those who came with me. It was my first time going that deep into the woods since HUD passed. Between that and the dreams I've been having, I didn't want to go alone. Some folks complained about hearing things following us or calling to us, but when we went in, I couldn't hear anything. No birds, no squirrels, just us. Another search party goes out tomorrow. I should try to get some sleep before then. <laughs> Alright, and then on Saturday. Nobody believes me, but I swear that I saw two figures through the tree line during today's search. They were standing far away, and it was only for a moment, and there was nobody there when I ran over to where I had seen them. I kept calling out his name and hearing my own voice echo back, like I was mocking myself. The rest of the party damn near dragged me out of the woods when sunset came. Sarah Schroeder has started a petition to keep everyone out of the forest. If she thinks it's going to stop the search party, she's going to be so sorely disappointed. All right. Uh, and then the final that thing. Was huh? That was it? That was it for the okay. blog postings, yeah. Uh, all right, so grateful for the search party. I know that I've had some choice words for certain members of this forum in the past regarding their salacious attitudes toward the open investigation into the disappearance of my son. But I would like to thank each and every one of you who joined the search party for Liam this afternoon. While we hit a number of snags along the way, the volunteer turnout was the highest that it's been in months. I know deep down that we've been making amazing progress in tracking Liam's movements. I know he's out there, and your help searching for him means a lot to me. If you could all encourage more people to join us, I know we will find something. Uh, Anthony saying, anytime, it was my pleasure to help. I'll see if I can round up anyone from the museum to help for the next party. Uh, Sarah saying, a few snags? No offense, hon, but the whole thing was a disaster. People were hurt. Frankly, we're lucky that nobody died. Did anybody else notice the weather change when we all entered the forest? It was nice and sunny before we went in there. Then, all of a sudden, the sky got darker, and the wind got heavier, and the air got so cold that I couldn't feel my fingers. My old bones just couldn't hold up those conditions. That's why I had to leave so early. Okay, so he's one of the five, then. Or she's one of the five. Uh, yeah, Nor probably. Norman, Norman Simmons, yeah. Um, I have interpreted the murmuring of the forest. This is Harriet Gillard. She <laughs> wants us to stay out. <laughs> Andrea, that was just the trees blocking the sun. You're being, being irrational. I didn't notice any changes in the weather, but I heard something coming toward us. When I turned around, there was nothing there. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll be joining the next search party. We got lost more than a few... Or, yeah, I'm not sure I'll be joining the next search party. We got lost more than a few times, and I'm not willing to risk dying out there of thirst or exposure or whatever else it is that kills people in the woods. Ooh. We certainly got turned around quite a few times, but I don't think there was ever anything to worry about. After all, what better time is there to get lost than when there's already <laughs> a search party dispatched nearby? Optimist. Uh, Sarah saying, as the head of the neighborhood watch, I have sworn to act in the interest of the greater good of this community. That is why, after a long period of careful thought, I'm launching a petition for the sheriff to call off any further search parties into the Black Hill Forest. There have simply been too many alarming reports coming from the, the or those search parties. I've been able to put up with them until now, but people have started to be hurt out there. Until we evaluate and understand those occurrences as a group, we need to give the forest a wide berth. I will be going around to each household to ask that you sign my petition and plan to pass the signatures on to the sheriff's office so this can be set in stone. Rosemary, I know you have been searching tirelessly for your son there, and you have my deepest sympathies, but we keep putting ourselves in danger. I apologize for leaving the search party early this past weekend. However, being in those woods doesn't sit right with me anymore after what happened to Kristen. <clears throat> happened to who? Kristen. I'm guessing that was that the one that had the, uh, the femur? Or not femur, but the uh, the oh, arm. it's not Tristan though. It's it's really Kristen. Kristen. Okay, yeah, Kristen. I thought, okay. Uh, Anthony Rapineau, feel free to visit his office, Sarah. I'll have you know that while Saturday may have been a bit rocky, we managed to discover a number of Liam's possessions in the forest today. Liam is still out there, and we're getting closer to finding him. Do I understand your fear? Yes. In fact, I share it. But at the end of the day, I care about that kid, and that's what matters. So, there we go. Interesting. Uh, so that I think is it on everything. Mm -hmm. We've looked through all of it. We looked at ev all of the uh, pieces that we had. Uh, Definitely taking a turn in the direction I wasn't expecting. This has been good. Though. A lot of a lot of stuff. Purple. Yeah. So a lot of stuff that was hidden. Um, a lot of hidden messages. Yeah. 
that we had uh, that we really needed that black light for. Uh, so definitely, if you're you know doing this case on your own or anything like that, pay attention to stuff like that. Some of them were a lot harder to see. Yeah. Uh, I mean, as far as like ciphers go, if you love ciphers, though, this one was a fun one, even a hard one. Yeah. Um, but like, <laughs> it, just how many pieces? I mean, all three chunks of that was one puzzle. Like, oh, absolutely. It was so intricately layered. Like, it was pretty good. And I mean, we needed a little help here and there, but for the most part, I think we thought of the majority of it on our own, which is nice. Yeah, I think so. At least we found like half of the stuff without assistance. <laughs> that is true. Kind of that highlighter back. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. You. And then let me double check to make sure if there was anything that Don't we miss. missed as a wrap up for the episode. All right. Uh, so now we got to save them both. Good lord. <laughs> At least we right. know they're really in the woods. Oh, we absolutely could have used you, uh, exquisite. I mean, we could have oh, we absolutely totally let, did let you, you do. do the, uh, did some you of not that. see the three I got wrong in the translation, <laughs> or that I somehow figured out a different way to solve the puzzle right. than the correct way to solve the puzzle? You know, <laughs> could have totally used you, <laughs> and we just missed you. We love you. Right. Okay. So. Uh, there's a parent, there is that between episodes stuff, the Supernatural podcast, podcast. But so far I, I haven't found anything new really. But yeah, we'll have to, maybe we can message, um, I need to reach out to Joe and see if I yeah, can get Yeah, maybe the, we can message the, Joe and ask extras. to see if it can be, um, if so, how do we get, since we bought the box from yeah. them at the at Gen, Gen Con, Con, yeah, how do we get those emails? Get those emails, yeah. yeah. I can reach out to Joe this week. I thought about that last week and just ran out of time. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Uh, so Rosemary's blog post, we got that. Good fences, screenshot, yep. And put photos of Liam's possessions. And uh, we got the uh, or got that as well. Uh, we got all the hidden text as well. I have to say, though, I'm very much enjoying the photo camera ability where it can invert the image instantly. So I was thinking to myself, how am I going to go do black light in a mirror? And I was like, that's going to be right. so hard. <laughs> uh, we could, if if they, we don't get those emails with the audio files of the um, podcast. I don't know if the emails are for the podcast. The they, podcast was something else, I thought. No, no, no. The emails between episodes is the were podcast. Were the podcast. Oh. Yeah. And well, it says on here, accessibility, then. it says audio transcript. So yeah. my guess is that it that is was an audio yeah, that it was yeah. an audio file that yeah. gets sent to you for the okay. podcast, or that it's a link to Wouldn't a site. Make sense, with it. Yeah, a scary show. And so, depending know, on what it is, just... uh, we'll figure that out. But we may, I may look at grabbing all of these audio transcripts and just throwing those into the Discord, then just okay. as extra content yeah. for you all. So, if you're curious about that, then uh, stay tuned for that. We'll make sure we get that all put in here as well. Uh, all right. Ooh. So I think that's it uh, for episode three. Uh, yeah, we it looks like we got all of them. I'm looking over the the, the uh, revealed solution. Looks like we got everything that we could find out of this. So uh, and going from there. Uh, all right, definitely a turn. So uh, yeah. be, I will be excited for the mystery. Next episode. Got more mysterious. Episode four uh, should be in a couple of weeks. Uh, yep, that not shouldn't interfere with uh, holidays. So we will. What like the fourteenth ish? Yeah, it should be somewhere around there. Yeah. Uh, so that's what we'll do. All right, chat. Uh, if you're jo joined us live, thank you so much for hanging out and watching and helping us along the way. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, thank you for watching that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, help us out there as well. Uh, we're on the road to 500. I, you know, hope I can put this on down the line and be like, oh man, we're over 500 now. You know, later on we'll be going for thousands or you know hundreds of thousands. Who knows? Uh, so uh, right now we're at 300, and we're on the way to 500. Right? So let's go for it. Uh, thank you very much, all. Stay safe. Stay strange. And we'll see you next time.